This would be a very scary click. Is this Asmon's biggest fan? Asmongold's biggest fan. Oh, here we go. I watch so much Asmongold. I actually think Asmongold's- He's a smart girl. Kind of hot. I know. He's just like my parasocial boyfriend. I agree okay. with almost everything he says, except his- See, she's probably not banned in my chat then. Yeah, see, see, because she agrees with everything I say. So she's probably not banned. Dumb shit about carnivore diets and like some other stuff I think is dumb. Most well, it, the carnivore diet, the thing is though, like here's the thing about the carnivore diet is every day I eat steak is a day I feel good. And every day I don't eat steak is a day I don't feel as good. So, I mean, maybe that's not for everybody, but it's, it's there for me of his takes i fully agree with i'm like kind You're of like a girl. sapiosexual i'm kind of What's into that? his like brain i don't know okay. i just love how he like talks and like how he puts things i didn't realize that's such a crush on that this is smart girl I and like i mean he would never like me because i'm way too like hoey for him <laughs> he was my does she know <laughs> Makes me feel bad. He's always like, "Oh, I always tell the girls they'll never like show it all." You know. It, it, anyway, it's just like a little fantasy. Well, I, oh, oh, yeah. No, I, I tell girls, but no, 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 no. This, this is out of context. Okay, so you gotta understand. So this is in the context of like me giving girls advice for what to do on their OnlyFans. And the reason I tell girls not to go nude on their OnlyFans is not because I'll think less of them. No, this is a benefit for me. I'm actively working against my own self-interest. I'm trying to be a nice, considerate person because the thing is, it's just bad business. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm like, mm, as in gold, you know, yeah, and, um, you know, he likes all the same stuff I do. He likes all the same and most stuff. Like we have a lot of like similar experiences other than I'm a girl, he's a guy and the things have been a little different. I definitely get like, I think this is one of like my three female viewers. There might be four good daddy energy from Asmin. He might slap me. I think he could do it. I actually do. So I get good. Uh, I by the way. I have never hit anybody for any reason in my entire life. I, I, I do not do that. I, do, I never yell at people. I never initiate any level of aggression or hostility towards people. If somebody makes me feel like I want to do that, I simply remove them from my life. What about Emeru? No, he'll be like, Emeru, shut the fuck up! And then he'll start punching the shit at me! Oh, that's different. I get good energy from that. But anyway, that's besides the point. My point is, if I'm, yeah. like, getting ready, putting my makeup on, or if I'm, like, on the road, or, like, whatever, or if I'm, like, on doing the Stairmaster mm -hmm. or something, like, I pull up an Asmongold video, and I just have more of, like, a parasocial... He's just, like, my internet boyfriend, and that's, that's all it is. Like, like I'm not that. out here trying to, like, talk to him and have him, like, feed me some fantasy that he cares about me or something like okay. that. Like, I just like having my parasocial internet boyfriend, and I think that for... A, the same thing like applies to like OnlyFans girls is like uh, the... that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. Yep, there you go. It's an e girl. Yeah, reverse the roles now. I don't need to reverse the roles. I know what that looks like. I've been in girl streamers chats before. Yeah, I know exactly what that looks like. I've done it. The, whatever the girl is that they like for whatever reason that's just like their parasocial internet girlfriend that they mm -hmm. jerk off that's to right. i'm such like an alpha female like i am literally what it would be like if a guy let's say um you know like a lot of these high powered ceo type guys or whatever they're like into femdom on the side and they want to be like treated like pigs and like fucked in the ass and stuff they are so tired from being the like high powered CEO. i wouldn't want to be fucked in the ass because i just think it would be uncomfortable it's not for me yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just not for me. Like, I mean, if other people like doing it, good for them. It's just not, it's not, like, really my thing. Or, like, whatever they are. Like, that's me, but as a girl. If I walk into a room, yeah. like, I could probably control it in some way. I don't mean to sound like that. I mean, okay. obviously, being an attracted female gives you a lot of leeway. It you does. Know? But I just have balls. That's all it is. I just have fucking balls. Like, I, what, what else do you want me to say? Like, I just have balls. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll do whatever. People just, like, follow people who, like, have balls. It's that simple. Like, there's nothing really more to it. Oh, like, people, people like that a lot. That, like, usually I'll go out and I'll say, no, it doesn't mean that. Um, it... it... What I'm saying is like, yeah, in general, people like if you are outgoing and assertive. I, I think it, it, ass there's a difference between like aggression and assertiveness because like with assertiveness, 
that's totally good. People are, are very much a fan of assertiveness. Aggression is what's problematic. Confident and assertive, yeah. People will like listen to people who sound like sure. And I'm usually just like sure. Yo, mm -hmm. someone clip that as if as I don't know what I would do, but I would die to see his reaction. You could have to a what? shot at Asmund. No, no, here's the reason here's the reason why Asmund and I could never date. His audience would never ever stop giving him shit for like being with some porn chick. He would just constantly <laughs> Well, let's check the tapes. I don't know, did that happen or not last time? Yeah, she must be kind of a newer viewer. They get shit for it. And then like they'd call him like a cuck and like all this stuff. Uh -huh. It would not be cool. He could get away with like yep. pink sparkles because she doesn't really do anything. Still want to watch Asmongold bash Well, she started the OnlyFans and then people were very, uh, people had a lot of opinions on that. And even with the OnlyFans thing, or even before that, people... Uh, they called me a cuck because I let her wear a low-cut shirt on stream. They said, if you let her do that, that's basically porn. Purely out of curiosity yeah. and scientific that's interest? That's right. I bet he got a long dick. And it's I not do. because he's tall and skinny. But, I mean, kind of. I just feel like he definitely got a long dick. <laughs> you guys watch the... the you see, like, I think we should normalize this. I have no... See, like, the thing is... Uh, Let's be real, okay? Reverse the roles. The only, the only girls that I'm allowed to sexualize are VTubers. You can't do this to real girls. But like with VTubers, it's totally fucking fine because it's like a cartoon, right? I, I guess I'm like the next closest thing to a cartoon. This video with me where mm -hmm. all the guys ranked each other of who would have the biggest dick and I almost like dot for dot line those guys up exactly how they would be like I knew which guys had the biggest ones and which guys had the smallest ones. I just fucking knew. Yeah you knew. just look at the raid logs. I was only wrong about the Asian guys because Asian guys are fucking wild cards. Like you never know what fuck is, what they're packing. Like you really don't. After at a certain point, you can tell like what range a guy is in just by how he carries himself. It's unfortunate mm -hmm. because the reason is of how like the world t treats and talks about like dick size. That like obviously guys who are like yeah I must be pretty well off are gonna feel better about themselves. Just like a world where a girl is that really true? I wonder if it is. Confidence is key. I think that, it, yeah, because, like, whenever girls talk about, like, big dick energy, what does that really mean? That means confidence and surety. So, like, maybe it's the idea that if a dude has a big dick, he can be confident. But if he doesn't, he's, like, secretly insecure. Is that it? girl who has a small waist and big hips is gonna just know she's what's on the menu and so she's just gonna be inherent inherently like more confident than a girl who that's what i thought too and like i would talk to these girls and these are girls i think are like this is like a nine out of ten girl right and bro like she's like starving herself cutting herself going on these weird diets like watching suicide tiktoks like what the fuck is wrong with you 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 like you're so hot. What do you what do you th no you're not ugly? What do you mean? You had a thousand people tell you that you're hot. One guy said you're fat. Well look at his picture, he's fat. What are you listening to him for? out who looks like a gymnast and feels like she looks like a little boy or something even yeah. though that's beautiful too the but one guy, she's, yeah. you know and it's probably a girl too, like acting like it's a guy, yeah tight and straight up and muscular versus what seems to be the taste is like thick and curvy so the same thing like applies to like men with like dicks so like you can just kind of tell like i could probably listen to a lot of like girls voices and tell you which one is the like no nah, no nah, you can't because i tried that i remember i tried that back in the day in wow like i because i thought that i could do the same thing and no no nah, nah, you can't like you, you I, I really thought you could more traditionally hot than the others. It's the same thing with dick size. So like you can just know. And so I just feel like Asmongold, it's impossible that he has a small dick. You just don't get to that level of like self-assuredness and not giving a fuckness without having either A, having like a pretty good sized dick or B, just being like so good at getting girls off that you're completely validated by how much you can make her come. Because men love- I think for me, here's the difference, right? Is like, for me, I used to be very insecure about the way that I looked. It was like really, really bad. Like, I, I didn't like 
showing off a lot of different ways that I looked or anything like that. And then one day, I remember the day, is it was whenever I did the gardening stream outside. It was like my first real IRL stream. And I, I thought it would be funny to take a shower on stream. And I did. I took my shirt off on stream and took a shower on stream. And it was really uncomfortable, but I just stopped giving a fuck. And do you want to know why? It's not because I felt good or, you know, like I was getting with a lot of girls. That was not true. Uh, the real reason why is because I had been made fun of so much that I just gave up. <laughs> I just, I was like, hey, it is what it is. I'm making bitches come. And the ones that don't, you suck in bed. Is he single? I mean, like, will your fan base get his attention if you... No, man, I'm not trying to, like, clout chase. I just, I just, I legitimately, like, I could show you my, I could show you my YouTube and I could scroll through his channel and you could see, like, all the mm -hmm. videos I, like, watch. Because, like, that's what I'm doing. Not so much this girl. past, like, couple weeks or so because I've been working so much more, but, like, I pretty much watch Nazmin Gold uh, in the shower while I'm putting my makeup nice. on and, like, when I'm working out, like, doing cardio. And nice. before I would watch Asmin Gold, if I was playing a game, that was like grinding. Well, that's the thing, right? It's like we upload how many fucking videos a day? Like 50 fucking videos a day? So people never run out of content. So it feeds the parasocial experience. So can people can think I'm their fucking friend. Because I'll never stop talking to them. And then by the time they run out of videos, then they can watch the stream. Then I would like throw him up on the screen if I was doing something like I don't really care to pay attention to then mm -hmm. I would I'd be watching. like new world like I would like I did a lot I hung out I, I feel so bad like every time like new world is always the example game that people use of like the one game that nobody likes watching Nobody likes new world Everybody fucking hates it. It is what it is I was gold a lot when I was playing New World because I was just like running around opening chests and stuff or like grinding. Yeah, like because I was the only person that was saying how it was like saying what was real about the game. Everybody else was talking about how good the game was. Bro, I was like, this shit is garbage. I knew it was garbage whatever and so me and asmin gold got real tight during new world and also star citizen alas she's right star yeah citizen. but they also wouldn't what tolerate anyone he'd be with i say if you got a crush take your shot we adore you we'll help you, oh, you can, bro, he can... like anytime here's the thing is that if a girl wanted to date me i tell people that i only date crazy girls because any girl that would willing to be to date me would be crazy Right? Just on a foundational level. So, like, any girl I date would be fucking insane. That's just how it is. Number two, any girl would have to understand that you're going to get all of the negatives and none of the positives. I'm never going to take you out anywhere nice to eat. I'm never going to buy you anything really nice. It's a waste of money. We're never going to go out on some trip together that you always wanted to go on. You know what the trip I always wanted to go on was? The trip over to McDonald's. All right? It's going to be great. And that's just how it is. And, and I remember Izzy would get so much shit for this. Meanwhile, if she was a good girl, I'd take her to Goodwill. And guess what happens? Everybody's like, wow, she's just in it for the money. <laughs> Man, if only you knew. And uh, Gary Chad, they don't deserve it. No, it's not that they don't deserve it. Like, I just don't give a fuck about that stuff. And so why would I care? Why would I want to be in a relationship with somebody else who cared about that stuff? It would be weird because they care about it. I don't care about it. But then, oh, by the way, okay, so all the negatives, right? You, you, you don't get any of the positives. Oh, right. And my house is uh, a biohazard. And so, uh, yeah, there's all that. And then number two, uh, here's the, the also the negatives. My viewers will harass you. This is just what's going to happen. And, and even girls that I'm not dating, they harass them. So I, I cannot even be dating a girl and they'll go harass them. Well, I can't believe you're trying to talk to Asmongold. Wow, you clout chasing bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? We hate you. <laughs> and so this happens a lot. And, and you'll see these comments, like, I'll read some of these comments about uh, about these different girls. 
Let, let me see. Here's let me see if I can find one. Look, I'm trying to find some some really good ones. I, I don't know if there are any other good ones here. Ah, not really too much. But this is just generally what happened. I, is that they will just go st all possessive kinds of boyfriends? Yeah, exactly. It's nuts. Didn't Belle Delphine try to make content with you? Um. Look. <laughs> It, it, dude, the Silver Veil ones, bro, <laughs> I can't screenshot those because those posts are too long to fit on one, uh, on one frame of my, of my phone. Like, that's like a three-part screenshot. Oh, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot, let, let's see if there are any Silver Veil ones. Th these are nuts! I'm reading one of them, and it's so fucking sad and pathetic, I'm not going to read it out. And I'm not saying that as in, like, bait me to do it, you know. Like, I'm actually not going to read it out because it's so fucking pathetic. It is so... Like, these are... They're so fucking insane. So, yes. Um, you get all of the positives. Or, sorry, all of the negatives. None of the positives. And... That's about it. Yep, there you go. So we don't have a lot of girls talking to me. That's the way it goes. It's what makes sense. Oh, God. <laughs> I really related to her, and in a weird way, her girlfriend experience stuff gave me a reason to keep on going. Something nice to think about. I knew I'd never get with her, but it was a nice mutual roleplay fantasy thing. Now, there's fucking nothing! We had an agreement. <laughs> and she failed her part. All my motivation is gone. And by the way, that's like the, the post is this big. That's this much. Okay. So that's, that's what you get. Yeah. Any girl that wants to collab with me or be anywhere near me. That's what you get. Look at it. Yo, I already DM'd him once. He ignored me. It did happen. It's okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> Plus, I'm not even his type. He likes giant titties, and I, I don't. I only have little, little ones. It might have been through the fucking ringer. So mm -hmm. I, he definitely strikes me as a titty man. Actually, he strikes me as a thick man. Probably he likes them both. I think he's into both. Listen. Do I look like a kind of guy that can choose? Let's be real. And I don't say that just because of pink sparkles. I say that because, like, the way he talks about girls, he seems to respond <laughs> equally well to boobies and booty. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I'm just memeing about his dick. Like, it doesn't actually matter whoever's dick. None of, your, none, none of it matters. What matters is, Guys like, Guys get really you... insecure about that. It's crazy. I've made jokes about it, and people get fucking mad. You do with it. I mean, it matters if it's, like, literally not there. Then... Yes, life is harder for you, like 100%, and I am sorry, bro. Um, but that's not a common. I have had some of my favorite, and in fact, the one, the gigolo guy I dated, he's like a literal gigolo. Like, women, like, pay him to fuck them. And, like, I don't think that guy was more than, like, five inches. And the whole thing was ta tattooed. Extremely average wiener. And yet, women would, like, line up to pay him to fuck them. What the fuck? It was tattooed? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Asmongold does project big dick energy, to be honest. Yeah, I think oh Asmongold can fuck, like, 100%. I've had such a, a like, a, a windfall of a different perspective wait, lately. Um, wait, wait, this is a follow-up on another day? She's wearing another outfit, the lighting's different. She says, hold up, there's part two. I've just stopped letting, like, the stigma and stuff, like, go to my head. You know, this is what I really think in my head. It, and, and this is how I am approaching life now because I watch him so much. Like, whenever I'm, like, feeling bad about something or reconsidering something, I think, mm -hmm. what would Asmongold do if he were me? And in my mind, based on everything I've heard of him and how he's, like... Well, I'll give you a really great example of a problem that I solved. So, I needed to get a prescription refill. But I haven't been to the doctor in two years. They wanted me to come in. I ignored their call following up for me to come in. Okay? I ignored it for a week. I got a call today. My prescription was ready. <laughs> 
Fucking got him. There we go, boys. Sometimes you just gotta wait. Oh, if I would scam motherfuckers, I would scam motherfuckers do this. I would do this. I didn't give a fuck. Like, this would be me. Asmongold would 100% sell pieces of his hair if he was a girl on OnlyFans with lots of hair. 100% like no- I wouldn't do that, but I would have chat- I would have chat GPT answer my messages. Like, I would think- I, I would enjoy the idea of paying a man to answer my messages because it would just- Cause they there's think they're talking to me. And I would make sure it's some fucking like big hairy man too. Not like some femboy fucking scene shit. Nah bro, like I'm talking to like a big hairy man. 300 pounds minimum. Like yeah, tech tone. No question. Like, as will yeah. have no reservations doing some of the shit I'm doing if he yep. was a girl. So, like, this is just like, it's, and ever since I started thinking, like, what would Asmongold do? Just my mm -hmm. life has improved so much. I think that's very true. This is a really smart girl. I like her. I'll link you guys the video. This was great. Yep, there you go. And uh, it's badass, dude. Yeah, there you go. Holy fucking shit. No, that's the way I handle things myself, is I, I go and I... The way that I go into every... Every situation... Is that I try to avoid the out... I, I try to avoid... Excuse me. Caring about the outcome. And if I can avoid caring about the outcome in a situation... I've already won. Like, it doesn't matter what happens. And I'm not afraid of an outcome that I don't want happening because it doesn't matter what the outcome is. So that, that, that's the way that I see it, man. Would you date a femboy? I'm not into that kind of stuff, man. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to say, uh, if I was bisexual, I would have no problem talking about it. I think it's totally fine. Um, in a lot of ways, I kind of wish I was for a long time because I'm like, oh, you know, like dudes can fuck other dudes and then they can just hang out and play video games together. And then like a couple of friends that I had that were gay told me about like some of their little fucking escapade situations. Bro, this shit is worse than what I had to deal with. It's the same shit. It's just, it's just more drama. What the fuck? Yeah, it's the same exact shit. Like, what? Yeah, it's probably worse. Yeah, there you go. Escapades, yeah. Like, I I'm just saying, like, it's all the same, man. So, yeah. Uh, no shot. Yeah, for real, man. Let me link you guys' video again. I'll give it a like. That's This was funny.